Great shot. Played with the swing, pulled into the leg side. That is brilliant batting. Confident start. I think this is a tougher end to face someone bowling in swing. Yeah. And into the leg side. Big shout of catch. Should be taken. Yeah. And it is excellent out there on the boundary. Danny Wyatt, she is a brilliant fielder. Southern Brave are on their way. Yeah. Well, beautiful shot. Shot of real authority from Van Nierke. Certainly have. Oh, I've enjoyed that sweep as well. That's the slog sweep, hard sweep. Both her and Capsi play that shot really well. I think a lot of people were learning. Well, that's through the gap. That'll run down the hill. That'll be four. Yeah, there's a lot of interaction between the men and the women's teams of trying to learn off each other. And that'll get away. How often do we see that? Drop catch, next ball boundary. Halfway through the 100. 52 the score. The reverse. Played because that's the opportunity to get a boundary. Very well played, Kate. This middle period, that's up in the air. Is this a chance? Danny White, we've been talking about it, and guess what? She doesn't drop. There's been a couple of drops, but Danny doesn't drop. Lauren Bell, she's in again. Oh, that's up. Now's a chance at mid-off. It's gone. Out. There's been a couple of wickets. Wilson went. Fanny Kirk is now gone. Shot down the ground. It's a full toss. It got what it deserved. It was smacked down the ground, and there's a boundary. They'll be needing that boundary. It's been coming for a while, and the informed batter gets it. Shot. It's got what it deserved. We've seen a full toss that got whacked. We've seen a leg side delivery that needed to be whacked. Both of them did get whacked. He won't want to get whacked. <laughs> but she's gone for the shot up over mid-wicket and got the connection she was looking for. A good boundary, and that might be important in the context of a potentially rain-affected game. Good use of the feet straight down the ground. Maya Boucher is close, but could not get it in with a full stretch dive. Alice Capsi is starting to get things moving. Again, feet in line with the stumps. Allows it to go straight. And a smart option again, hitting down the ground. Yeah. Bold her, she bowled her. That's a key wicket for Lauren Bell. Yeah, just as I was talking, Caps up, talking about how well she was doing, she goes back. Bell, who's been impressive today. Runs, you don't care how they come. If it's an outside edge in a final, you're going to take them. Stay low, that, but she's drilled it. What a shot, and the runs are now flowing. Spin, and what a shot! Full on the leg side, and just use the wrist to carry it around to backward square. Catch! She's gone straight. She's gone dead straight, and again another boundary. Catch! Got an outside edge underneath it is Amanda Jade Wellington, and that is a heart in mouth moment, as you can tell. But she's delighted for holding on. She's got a good connection, but there is. A fielder underneath it, Maya Boucher has had to work hard in the deep, has taken the final catch. <laughs> oh, there's a nick. Yes, it's a huge nick. It's a massive wicket. They did it last night, so they're going to defend it again this evening. Yeah, bowling that block of 10, Shane Warne was talking about that block of 10, and guess what? That is the reason why. A second slip comes in, and there's another pole. Two down. <laughs> oh, it's up. It's up. Could be the third. It is the third. What an unbelievable set of 10. Everybody expects us to get it. We've got to get it. Short, wide. If it's there to hit, Maya's going to hit it. They've really gone after the Southern Braves. That could be close too. Direct hit. Direct hit's always close. We're going upstairs. Ishmael goes for the short ball. And another wicket. This is falling apart. 11 wicket. 11 runs on the board and they are struggling. The crowd are ecstatic. What a catch, Marizan Cap diving to her right. They have been clinical with their catching and her smile. She doesn't smile often, but there's a beam there. The crowd happy. Shot. Nice shot, use the pace. That flew off the bat. Nice shot. Just open the blade and just glided it up the hill. At the top of the order. Oh, brilliant. Went the other way that time. Generally, it's the leg spin, and that one just went down the slope, and that is a brilliant bit of bowling. One of the names people won't forget from this competition. Good shot. That reverse sweep. Used a bit of the pace and a bit of guile as well. Good shot. Through the offside, into out, through extra cover. That was the ball that swings away rather than the off spinner, but she picked it perfectly and just went with it. Ten balls from one end. Oh, good shot. Really good shot. Used the pace. No, maybe going down. Yeah, when I first saw it, that's what I thought. Just missing leg. So you stay with your knocked out decision. 
Up again, hit down the ground. One bounce away, they needed that, they need more of that. Down the pitch, gets it away, gets it through, four. Well done, tried the reverse, and Capsi finishes with the wicket, she gives her a bit of a send-off as well. The captain back in. So far, one wicket for her, they're looking for the two, they're trying to push. And if the throw was a little bit straighter, they might have made it closer, but they're still going to have a look. Two Redburn goes upstairs. Wow. She's going full, but what a shot. Lauren Bell comes to the party, might be late, but at least she can still have a bit of fun. She's gone for the rough, no, the rough her up. The Oval Invincibles have won the first ever 100 tournament at Lords. Dane van Nierke lifts up Marazan Cap, who has the best figures in the women's tournament. Four wickets for only nine runs. That's absolutely outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the first ever women's hundreds. The Oval Invincibles!